it's official. We're getting Jedi Survivor gameplay at the Game Awards on December 8th, and I cannot wait to see what the Jedi Survivor team has in store for us. Uh, in addition to that, we got some official art today. Look at it. Look at Cal and BD1. They're looking so good. Cal with that nice little beard and BD1 looking as cute as ever. And Cal with that gun on his hip. I cannot wait to, wait to see what that gameplay looks like. Uh, but that being said, we also got some leaks uh, over on Steam in addition to the announcement of the gameplay reveal being on December 8th. And I want to show those to you. The first leak I want to talk about is the fact that the game is going to be released on March 15th. Again, remember these are all leaks, they're not confirmed, we'll know for sure, I assume, on December 8th. Uh, but the game is going to be released on March 15th, a little earlier than a lot of people speculated. I personally was thinking it was going to be around March 30th, but I'm not mad about an earlier release date. The next thing I want to talk to you about is the pre-purchase bonuses. The first one is just if you pre-purchase the first game, you get the Hermit cosmetics. We have the Hermit looking outfit a lot very akin to Obi-Wan Kenobi's hermit outfit. Uh, this is very much an Obi-Wan Kenobi inspired set. Uh, we also have the hermit lightsaber that looks a lot like Obi-Wan Kenobi's and a very nice looking blaster. The next pre-purchase bonus we have to look at is if you pre-purchase the Deluxe Edition, which I don't know about you guys, I'm gonna be pre-purchasing for sure. Uh, it comes with what they call the Galactic Hero Cosmetic Pack. Uh, and that's just, it looks like a Han Solo inspired and a Luke inspired look. You have the Han Solo inspired outfit, uh, the rugged BD-1, which is just a green BD-1, and of course the DL-44 blaster that you can swap out for Cal's gun. Uh, we also have the Luke looking outfit and a R2-D2, an adorable R2-D2 inspired BD-1 skin that I'm so excited to use. Uh, and then a Luke looking, well, the Skywalker saber looking lightsaber that I'm very excited about. The final bit of news that we have is a relatively vague synopsis of the game that we're going to be having. It's going to be the about section for the game over on Steam and let me read it for you. The story of Cal Kestis continues in Star Wars Jedi Survivor, a third-person galaxy-spanning action-adventure game from Respawn Entertainment, developed in collaboration with Lucasfilm Games. This narrative-driven single-player title picks up five years after the events of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and follows Cal's increasingly desperate fight as the galaxy descends further into darkness. Pushed to the edge of the galaxy by the Empire, Cal will find himself surrounded by threats new and familiar. As one of the last surviving Jedi Knights, Cal is driven to make a stand during the galaxy's darkest times. But how far is he willing to go to protect himself, his crew, Knight Sister Marin, and the legacy of the Jedi Order? Continuing Cal's journey, no longer a Padawan, Cal has come into his own and grow in grown into a powerful Jedi Knight. Carrying the memories and expectations of the Jedi Order with him, his crusades against the Empire has only become more perilous. The dark times are closing in, and with enemies new and familiar surrounding him, Cal will need to decide how far he's willing to go to save those closest to him. Are we gonna get some Cal dark side like action? All right, going beyond your training, the cinematic combat system returns with an additional force abilities and new lightsaber fighting styles leveraging all these abilities and weapons to strategically take on an expanded host of enemies, siding up strengths and weaknesses while cle cleverly utilizing your training to overcome your opponents and solve the mysteries that lay in your path. It didn't say anything about gun usage, um, but I know that might be a little surprise they wanted to be in there. Uh, I hope that kind of goes with new lightsaber styles and creatively leveraging these abilities and weapons. Uh, exploring the untamed galaxy, discover new planets and familiar frontiers in the Star Wars galaxy, each with unique biomes, challenges, and enemies. Loving the new enemies, so excited about those. Master new skills, equipment, and ability that will augment the ways you explore, fight, and roam. With larger areas to explore and more to discover off the beaten path, Players who adventure beyond the horizon will find hidden rewards. I'm hoping that, that kind of makes it feel like it's going to be more open world. Jedi Fallen Order was very straightforward. This is the path you go on. These paths lead very much to the story and continuing the story. And so I'm interested to see 
if they're adding more open world exploratory things or not. Uh, and also additionally in this screenshot is the system requirements. I will be putting them right here if you're interested in them. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a huge game with it being 130 gigabytes. But if it's a huge open world with a lot of exploratory things and new planets to explore, I wouldn't expect it to be a small game. Uh, I'm going to be playing this on Xbox. My PC will not <laughs> run this game, uh, but I cannot wait to play this game. That being said, if you are watching this video before December 8th, I will be streaming the Game Awards live over on my Twitch. If you want to see my reaction live to the Jedi Survivor gameplay and other gameplay that will be shown at the Game Awards, uh, feel free to check out over there. If it is after December 8th, I'm sure I've uploaded my live reaction to the Jedi Survivor trailer and gameplay and all of that that they will be releasing on the 8th. And you can find that somewhere. I'm sure I'll link it. Uh, but thank you for watching. May the force be with you.